Hey everyone and welcome to Stuff Moms Have Time For. My name is Rebecca and today's video is going to be all about how to make plain regular glass into very beautiful and colorful sea glass. I looked all over for ways to do this and the way that I came up with is really simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So I had seen this beautiful pastel color glass at Hobby Lobby recently and it looked very much like sea glass to me and I wanted to come up with a way to kind of make this on my own and see if I could learn a technique that I could dye glass with. So I am going to be using a high gloss Mod Podge as well as food coloring and I am going to show you guys how to do this technique. So you really just need a few ounces of Mod Podge and I would recommend going with the glossy just so it looks shiny like glass. And I'm just going to experiment a little bit with the coloring. One thing that I found was it's really difficult to tell exactly what color your glass is going to come out because the coloring when you have the white Mod Podge is going to be different than after you actually bake your glass. So just keep that in mind and play around with some different colors. This one is supposed to be a dark blue, so I'm just gonna pour my mixture into my glass, and then I'm gonna just slowly and evenly coat the glue all on the inside of this glass. Now take your time with this. If you do see any air bubbles, take the time now to take them out because if you do not, they will show up on your glass later on. Once the glass is fully coated, I am just going to set that aside and let all the excess drip out. Then I'm gonna start on a second color. Because I wanted my glasses to have a pastel feel, I'm going to be doing a purple, green, blue, and pink glass. So this is going to be my green one and I'm going to do the same process with this as I did with my other one. And really make sure you get a nice coating all through the glass. Once that's done, I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to make a reddish pink color. Mod Podge is ready. I am going to put my oven on about 250 degrees. Now I let my glasses kind of just sit and settle for about an hour and a half before I put them in the oven just to make sure all the glue is out. And then upside down on some parchment paper, I am just going to put them in the oven. And for these glasses, I left them in for about an hour. The Mod Podge is going to fully harden and dry, and then what you're going to be left with is a nice clear glass. So this is what happens when you don't take the bubbles out, so make sure it's nice and smooth to go in so you have a nice finish. I love how these came out. They came out very similar to the colors in the store, so I'm really happy with them. I will give a slight warning that because it is a glue surface, you should probably not put any liquids in it or use them as drinking glasses. Please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this DIY video. It's a really cool way to color your bottles for springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and until next time, I will see you guys then.